This is Jessica with cutesycrafts.com. I've got another stitch tutorial today to celebrate the finishing of my book, 30 Day Challenge Embroidery. Stay tuned for more information about that at the end of the video. But for today, I'm gonna to be teaching you the basket weave stitch. This is a filling stitch, so I've drawn a square here, but you can fill different kinds of shapes, and I have one to show you at the end of the video. But for now, we're gonna start by bringing our needle up on the outside of the shape at one end. And I like to do all of my filling stitches by bringing the needle up just outside the edge of the stitch. That way, we cover all of our lines and get a nice consistent fill. So I'm gonna then make a straight line down and I'm making all of my beginner lines here the shorter way. Now I'm going to bring my needle up at the bottom of my shape and leave a gap, a slight gap in between where my previous stitch went down in and the next one is coming up. So depending on how big you make that gap is going to change the look of your design. So you can experiment with that and see what you like. I'm gonna make another vertical line parallel to that one. Bring my needle down at the top. And we're just gonna keep making lines like that all across the shape. Once you have your shape filled in with lines going one direction, we're going to start the weaving part of the basket weave stitch, which means I'm gonna bring my needle up at the end of one side of my shape. And then just like if you've ever woven something, I'm going to bring my needle over this stitch under the next one, over that one, under the next one. So we're skipping every other stitch, I'm going over, under, and I'm just sliding it under the stitches. I'm not going through the fabric. So you can see that there. And then I'm gonna pull the thread through don't pull it too tightly. And then I kind of scooch that up. You want it to be straight, but you don't want to pull tight because then you're going to distort everything. Push all of that up. And then on this side, I'm going to bring our needle down over that last stitch because that was one that we were going over. So then now we're on this side. So I'm going to bring my needle up and since we ended going over this stitch here we're going to start by going under it this time over the next one so it's going to be the opposite of the last one that we did just like weaving pull that through Again, not too tight. Scooch all of those up. Give it a little bit of a tug. And then bring our needle down at the end there. And then our next row, bringing it up. And then same as we did that first row, we're gonna start by going over because we ended the last one by going under. Just make sure that it's alternating every time. Slide that under, scooch that up and straighten everything out. And we're just gonna keep going like that, back and forth until we get to the bottom and fill up our shape. And that is how you do a basket weave stitch. Here is an example of when you could use that in a pattern. You can see that it adds just a nice 
texture to these lemons. This is a new pattern from my book, 30 Day Challenge Embroidery, where I teach 30 different embroidery stitches with 30 diagrams to help you along the way and 30 different projects that feature all of those new stitches. It comes out at the end of January, but pre-orders are up now on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below so that you can get your hands on my fun new book.